Yeah. So what up, r &B? All right, we're here, Erica. Happy Saturday, friends. So where are you standing right now? I'm standing in my kitchen, y'all. Like, my whole kitchen. Just standing here. So excited. So, so exciting. Yeah. Hello friends and welcome back to the channel. It's Erica and Evan from Italian Chocolate Homestead. And we are back friends with an amazing update. As you can see, our kitchen and our trim package has been installed. Check out these amazing Aristocraft cabinets. Um, our builder exclusively uses Aristocraft and so we chose two of the natural wood stain for our cabinets, for our perimeter cabinet and our wood hood. We chose the stain burlap, which is more of a gray brown stain. So in natural light, it does have a browner tint, but then in the evening light with overhead lighting, you can see more of the gray um, uh, background in the stain. Absolutely love the color. It's, I think, a very timeless color gives off a really, really nice kind of farmhouse vibe. This kitchen is a complete and total design by myself and our amazing design coordinator, Liz. Um, this kitchen had never been built by our builder before, but this is an amazing option of having a custom build because you can create exactly what you need and what you want. Check out that amazing hood range. It was one of the things that I was looking the most forward to uh, in the process. And here you can see our 10 foot island. This was also a design of ours as well. This is stained in what's known as sarsaparilla, which is more of a black style stain. Um, our front door and all of our other rail and spindle in the house will also be stained in this sarsaparilla color. So as you can see, we do have some self-install projects that we'll have to do with our hardware and our pullouts to make this fully ADA accessible, but we are looking forward to that. This is our four by four corner pantry that Evan is getting here for you. We do still have shelving that will be installed by the builder in this space and also trip lighting. So when you open that door, eventually the lights will come on by themselves. Um, and then after 30 seconds of no activity, the lights will turn off. It'll make things a lot more um, efficient for us and easy for me. Lastly is this amazing uh, cabinet that we had installed for our microwave. This is called a tall microwave hutch. And so the microwave will be built in and there is storage above and below, including this amazingly large drawer. Check that out cannot wait to be able to utilize all of the storage in this kitchen space. So we created this kitchen with, you know, two things in mind. My ability to be able to move around using any type of assistive tool and the ability to have storage. And I think we captured it really, really well. But doesn't it feel so good? Next is our rail and spindle package. Um, as you can see, we actually opened up the wall here. So included in the package was just a, uh, a fully capped wall with the door at the top of the staircase. We actually opened that up to have them install a rail and spindle and then place the door at the bottom of the staircase. Um, as you can see, the railing is in as well. Eventually, these will be stained black. The natural wood will be stained black to match our island as well we're super excited about this project too you know when you get through it how good that feels next is our master bathroom we also have aristocraft cabinetry in this room as well the stain in this room is flagstone and so if burlap is on the lighter end and sarsaparilla is on the darker end flagstone is somewhere in between those two stain colors um, it's a double vanity here in this space. Each side um, of the vanity includes three drawers and an open cabinet. We will also be installing some pullouts in that open cabinet to just make accessibility uh, very easy for myself and anyone else in the near future. Sins against me, dead and sin, homie. That's what we come to. But I got Let's check out our doors next. 
We used a farmhouse panel door known as Rockport, which is a five panel door. We love these doors because they are hollow core, and so they are a little bit on the lightweight side, which makes it easier for me for accessibility. Evan is showing you there one of the cleaning closets, and here is the hallway linen closet as well. The doors in these spaces are painted to match the walls, which is Sherwin-Williams Gossamer Veil, paint number 9311. And then he's gonna take you into the secondary guest room here so that you can have another look at the five and a quarter inch trim around the base of the walls in this space. Last but certainly not least in today's video is a view of our window seals. So we actually did a farmhouse style MDF window seal in all of the windows in the house. I think it just adds a beautiful sweet touch to the windows, gives it a very um, timeless look. Evan's taking you around into the sunroom as well so that you can see the trim work in here. Um, we did not do trim around the windows. It's not something that I wanted. I think it gives it more of a, of a regal style and our house definitely is more of a relaxed um, kind of farmhouse transitional style. Here he is giving you another view of the kitchen and the two windows that we've installed there as well. Thank you friends for joining us again for a update. We can't wait to bring more updates to you next week.